Good morning, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I am Sheila Blanco, Public Information Manager for Savannah Chatham County Public Schools, and uh, we have a very exciting announcement to, to make today. As you all know, earlier this year, our superintendent, Dr. Ann Levette, announced that she would be retiring at the end of this fiscal year. And uh, at that point, a search began. Our board contracted with BWP and Associates, an independent search firm, to conduct a nationwide search for a new superintendent for Savannah Chatham County Public Schools. They had a month-long application process, and over the last month have been conducting rounds of interviews, which has culminated in the announcement today of the sole finalist for Superintendent of Savannah Chatham County Public Schools. To make that announcement now, I'm going to introduce Board President, Mr. Roger Moss. Good morning. It's a great day to be in Savannah and a great day for Savannah Chatham County Public Schools. Uh, I am here with uh, our school board. We have uh, from District 1, uh, Mrs. Denise Grabowski, District 2, Dr. Uh, Di uh, Dion Hoskins-Brown, from District 3, Ms. Cornelia Hall. From District 4, Sean Katchmar. From District 5, Mr. Paul Smith. From District 6, Dr. David Bringman. District 7, Michael Johnson. And District 8, Dr. Tanya Howard Hall. We work as a team. And the announcement I'm about to make comes as a result of teamwork. The Savannah Chatham County Board of Public Education is pleased to announce Dr. Denise Watt as the sole finalist for the role of superintendent. Dr. Watt has a track record of improving the quality of education for all students, and she was unanimously identified as the sole finalist. After a national search, uh, that included 49 completed applications from across the country and multiple interviews. The board is confident in Dr. Watts is the right leader to build upon and accelerate the progress made under retiring superintendent Dr. Ann Levette. The board will meet formally to discuss the hiring of Dr. Watts at a board meeting later in June. The meeting date will be announced and posted online at the uh, district's website at www.sccpss.com. So let me tell you a little bit about Dr. Watts. As a principal in the Charlotte Me Mecklenburg School District, she led a high-performing school to meaningful growth in its already high achieving academic performance and was later named the 2008 National Association of Secondary School Principals North Carolina Principal of the Year. She was then strategically staffed to lead turnaround efforts at one of the lowest performing schools in the state, leading it to become one of the most improved. Dr. Watts was uh, then recruited to the University of Virginia Partnership for Leaders in Education, where as Chief of District Support, she worked with school districts across the nation to design and execute strategies for comprehensive school and system-wide improvements. This experience pro provided invaluable insight into data analysis, strategic planning, and execution of initiatives that truly impact learning, and culture across a wide range of schools and districts. The Houston Independent School District recognized Dr. Watts' effectiveness and tapped her to serve as its chief of schools, a challenge she accepted despite the fact that the state of Texas had already begun proceedings to initiate a takeover of the school system. When it, within her first year, she helped reduce the number of low-rated schools from 48 in 2021 to 11 in 2022, and implemented systems and conditions that fosters improvements across all schools in the district. Dr. Watts has consistently used a data-driven approach to increase student achievement while also focusing on building effective relationships with students, staff, 
peers, and the community. Her passion for ensuring that all students are successful, and in her words, and I love this phrase, can lead choice-filled lives, regardless of their circumstances, while also ensuring that teachers and staff have the support they need. That aligns with the school board's vision to, to ensure that all students are prepared to be successful and productive citizens and mission to ignite and foster lifelong learning at the highest levels. We look forward to Dr. Watts joining us this summer and are confident that the future is bright for Savannah Chatham Public School System. For information related to the to selected candidate will be made available pursuant to the requirements of the Georgia Open Records Act uh, should they be requested. In no sooner than 14 days, the school board shall convene to vote in a public meeting on the superintendent selection. The meeting date will be announced and posted at the school district's website at www.sccpss.com. Thank you. You, yes. Why are you announcing only one finalist? Doesn't that make any vote sort of pro forma? You could look at it that way. This is the finalist that we all agreed on, and that is what we're doing. And will there be any chance to question the new, the, all the approved uh, school superintendent before she is voted on? Uh, I, I don't think so. No. By the public, you mean? In by the public. Um, no, no, no. It is a board decision. So there will be no more public input into this process. Correct. This might come across as rude. Why isn't she here? Why isn't she here? Yeah. Uh, she has a job. <laughs> when was she summoned? Um, we are in negotiations now. Uh, of course, we can't complete those negotiations until after we officially vote. So. Just to clarify that, you said that she's from the Houston School District, is that correct? Correct. Okay, so can you talk a little bit about the process of hiring someone not from an industry in the area, just from the outside of the state? Okay, so when we started this process, we promised our uh, public that we would find the best and that we would do a nationwide search. The nationwide search yielded someone from Houston. Okay. Can you tell me some of the questions you asked in your interview process? Um, no. Anyone else? Was there anything that stuck out about her that just made you know, you know personally that she would be a great fit um, for the children here in Savannah? Absolutely. Yes. Um, I think that she would be a great fit for the children here in Savannah. Absolutely. Good, great question. So um, when, we, when we started the process, uh, we did get input from the public what the public wanted. So she was able to check quite a few boxes. They wanted someone who had experience in a school. She was a school principal. They wanted someone who had turned around school districts. She, she checked that box. But I will tell you, as I said earlier, and this is very important, what sold me was when she talked about the, the fact that what education does, education yields children with choice-filled lives. And her emphasis, is, her emphasis is not only on low-performing schools, but on high-performing schools. And earlier um, in the process, you all, as school board uh, members, you wanted to make sure that you all had a superintendent um, before the start of the next school year. Can you talk a little bit about that process and let them that you all made sure that you came together to make sure that that was Okay, so yes, absolutely. So uh, we began the process by hiring a, uh, a search firm. The, the, the search firm was then um, instructed on what the public wanted, uh, and they provided us with candidates. And we narrowed, narrowed those candidates down to the one final study. Well, let me ask a question. As a district, how important was it for y'all to make you hire this person before we started? Why was that a mission that you all 
uh, because for our children, uh, we didn't want to miss any steps for our children. Uh, we should always have a superintendent there. Um, and uh, as you know, Dr. Levette's last day is June 30th. And we have a the school year starts in August. So we didn't we didn't want to miss a step. Do you know what the pumpkin might mean? Say at whenever it comes time uh, to vote, if she doesn't get the majority of the vote, is there a process for what happens after that? Hopefully, based on everyone agreeing that this is our sole finalist, um, we are pretty confident we should. Yes, it's the challenge facing all school districts. Literacy. Can you expound on that? I'm sorry. Let Dr. Watts. Okay, so Dr. When Dr. Watts is, I don't want to put words in her mouth, uh, and the interviews were in closed session. So uh, I will let you ask Dr. Watts that. Uh, I will tell you she is very open uh, and she and she is all about being open to the press. So when, when would she be here next? Uh, she, she will be here after she's voted in. So it's kind of foregone conclusion. I'm sorry? You, it, there is, we are following the process. Thank you. Thank you. No, no, no. Okay, remember, and I, I've, I've got to reiterate this. There is, per law, there is a 14-day period before we can vote on her. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Very good, Roger. Thank you all for being here again. The date for that meeting will be forthcoming. It has to be, I believe, within 14 days uh, or in 14 days. After 14. Okay. At the 14 day mark, uh, but we will have a date for that to you soon. I do have copies of the press release and the candidates' bio here to give each of you. I will also be emailing them out to each of you. 